Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Quarter till seven and all is well, 650 or 45 rather, as we take a look at what's going on. The Twin Bridges, our uh, Maldonado's roofing and siding camera. Now that we're starting to see the light of day, uh, the sun will rise though for another uh, 10 minutes, 655 Evansville time anyway. So, uh, but it'll be up and at it soon enough. And we've got a day filled with sunshine like we've seen all week long. Uh, it's going to be pretty much the same story. Love the story though. Uh, as we uh, get a gander now at our Heads Construction Tower cam shot, you can see we got a little bit of traffic out there on the strip. Uh, off in the distance there, uh, that's downtown Evansville. Just a little bit of haze, but not much. Uh, we've got ourselves a pretty clear view of everything. A little bit of fog out there uh, to deal with in some areas. You can see down uh, on the strip, uh, West Franklin, you can see the Ferris wheel anyway sticking its head up above the trees, uh, and also the Lloyd Expressway. That's our view from Fifth Third Bank as we check out the west side of town on this second to last day of the fall festival. As we look at what, what's going on right now, temperature 51 degrees, got a dew point of 49. So the air is pretty much saturated, wind is calm, so you know we've got a little bit of fog out there to deal with, and we have seen that around Madisonville, around Tell City, around Harrisburg, up north of Mount Carmel. So, I mean, there have been some spots. I mean, really, <laughs> you know, go to the south, go to the east, go to the west, go to the northwest. We've seen some. We haven't seen a whole lot to the northeast up around Jasper or Ligoti, but uh, there might be a little pocket up there by now. Uh, we checked Bismap, though. Last check, it was not showing it, though. 49 degrees Jasper, 48 degrees Santa Claus, 48 in Tell City with some fog, uh, 53 degrees Owensboro, 50 in Princeton. So, yeah, just a, a little bit warmer, a couple of degrees warmer than what it was yesterday for most of us at this time. Uh, 48 both Mad City and Greenville is 48 also in Fairfield. Here's another great shot from the Aurora Borealis from last night. If you missed it, so many people did not miss it, and they got a great show. Jeremy Doherty got this from Cool Springs, Kentucky. Great shot here of the Aurora. You can see the ribbons of red and also the green along the horizon. I got to, I saw a little bit of the red. I didn't see anything more than that. I just caught, caught a faint reddish uh, glow in the sky to the north. But yeah, much better look uh, from Jeremy. Jeremy, I mean, he, he stays up a little later than me too. I mean, I, I knocked off at about nine. I went out there a couple of times. I saw just a little bit of red, not a whole lot. But hey, I'm glad a lot of you got to see a lot of that Aurora because you don't get to see it very often now. In these, in these parts, it's been very active though on the sun this year. And it was another electromagnetic storm, a big one. Uh, and that's the reason why we got that. CME is what it was. Uh, coronal mass ejection. So we take a look at what's going on. Storm tracker across the region, nothing. I mean, it's a long way from getting any rain. That's what I know. You can see Milton now chugging its way well and off to see good riddance to that storm. Here comes some clouds, though, and it's going to bring us this frontal boundary. This front's going to move through. It's a cool front on Sunday. It's going to bring us some clouds out ahead of that front. That'll be tomorrow. You can see on Friday, uh, nothing shaking out there as we go through the day as far as any cloud cover of significance. We are going to see a few clouds overnight. And here we go into Saturday. Yeah, we've got a better dose of cloud cover, but not a drop of rain. Then that's off the board. We head into Sunday. A little bit better dose of sunshine for our sun. Day, but we do have a front that's going to move through in the afternoon. Could drum up a few clouds, uh, and it's going to shift, shift the winds from the southwest to the northwest. It is going to be a little breezier over the weekend uh, than what we see today. Today, though, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Wind mainly from the south and southeast. High of 82 degrees with that sunshine. On the 3-degree guarantee, called for a high yesterday of 81, got up to 84. You know that's a winner. And who is a winner? Uh, getting an umbrella, Stacy Kimmel of Whitesville. Congratulations, Stacy. You've got yourself that umbrella, courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Uh, don't come by the station to pick it up uh, today or next week. Pam's on holiday, uh, so she will be back the following week, though, for you to come by and pick up your prize. Uh, 82 degrees for a high today, 83 tomorrow, 82 on Sunday. We stay warm and dry through the weekend. We're going to stay dry through the next seven days at least, but much cooler next week with a high of 64 on Monday, 59 for a high on Tuesday. Check out the lows, 40 on Tuesday. 37 on Wednesday. Ouch. Ouch. We're looking at some frost, <laughs> it looks like. At least some patchy frost, I think, on Wednesday morning. Might even see some on Tuesday morning, too. Wow. Uh, today is the 11th day of October. It is Sausage Pizza Day. How about that? Ooh. Yes, it is. That's pretty cool. Uh, I could stand for one of those. I wonder if they, do they have a sausage pizza out, out there on West Franklin? I don't oh, know. Probably. It's also National Egg Day. Uh, it is also National Food Truck Day. That's yep. pretty cool. Ah, oh, and release the Kraken. It is cracking day. All right. <laughs> Let's give a quick live look this morning at Dallas, Texas here.